What's happening YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into the channel today right here with the Rust Belt Mechanic. We've got our episode number five coming in for you with Rust Belt's nifty tools of the week. We've got some pliers, we've got some diagnostic tools, wire tools, and a sweet Astro Pneumatic brake set. I'll be going through each one of these, giving you guys a price and a layout of what it is coming up. First on our list we've got up today is the three-piece Nipix set of lock jaw pliers. These are adjusting lock jaw pliers. The part number on these is PC7, uh, PC10, and PC12. I'm not really sure of the three-piece actual, uh, well, a PC3S is the Matco number on this one. I actually picked this one up on the Matco truck because they just were running a really good sale on them. I ended up getting them for like 120 bucks on the truck one day. But right there, uh, online, you're able to get these for right around $131.50 normally. So it's actually a pretty good deal for the kind of pliers these are. If anybody hasn't had a set of Nipex pliers before, these make the biggest difference in it. They are a locking jaw plier with a push button to set it and be able to go up and down. This specific set has the uh, is the cobra style so it has the locking jaws on the top and the bottom there on the 45s able to lock up and down these small ones are really good for getting in tight little places getting some uh, broken fasteners out and some all the way up to the larger ones the pc 12s they're great for doing alignments getting uh, big water outlets out that are stuck inside of manifolds they they worked great for that one if you guys haven't had a set of nipex pliers there's a huge difference between just getting a regular set of pliers to having a set of nipex pliers these would be a must have for you guys' toolbox Next up on our nifty tools list is going to be the Snap-on EECT200 uh, wireless test light. This wireless test light is able to test from 3 up to 24 volts. It is an LED test light that has no ground cord to it. How about that? Makes it really nice for testing in underneath of dashes, inside underneath hoods, tight places where you know you may not always be able to find a great ground spot, but you can you know physically touch some sort of ground or some sort of body panel. How it works, instead of using a ground strap and connecting it onto a ground location, uh, you're actually just going to take an extra, you know, either your the arm or your hand or something and touch it to another ground or an outside body panel, something steel or something close to it on the vehicle. It's really nice and easy to pick up just about any kind of ground that you can even get close to. You touch on another ground source and you're able to be able to use the test light to test different spots and you will see the LED light light up right here for you and then it also has an audible beeper here on the end. It's a really good one. It's got a, a nice little clip to be able to put it into a pocket or a belt loop to be able to hold it there for you as well as a tip protector as well. Right now on the Snap-on website they're running right at $62. Uh, a little costly for a test light but it does help if you don't have any of those extra ground locations or you know you don't want to worry about getting something damaged that you're around moving parts all the time so that's easy and nice to have and you're able to carry it around in your pocket with you all the time. I ended up picking this one up on the Snap-on truck when it was on sale for right around like 50 some bucks but like I said right now on the Snap-on website running 62 bucks it's a good diagnostic tool something quick and easy to have in your arsenal. Third on our list, we've got our Snap-on PWC-22A wire strippers. Now I do prefer these over the standard, either the metal style wire strippers that split the wire as you hold them horizontally and they split it apart that way. Uh, these are a little bit lighter, they're a little bit more compact, able to get into a couple of nice easy places. Now I know Bluepoint's not the only one who makes this one. There are also a couple of other companies on Amazon and other affiliate places that do make this specific um, tool, but this one I did pick up off the Snap-on truck. 
Uh, it is very nice. It's got a locking function, so when it's not in use, it's able to be locked right into place, already closed. All you have to do is push the lock in and it unlocks the set of pliers there for you. Uh, the depth is something else that is able to be set when you're wanting to get a wire here and you're able to set from uh, 1 to 12 millimeters on the depth of your wire. Simple, all you got to do is put it into the end, clip it, and it's done stripped right there for you. The other neat thing about these is right here in the hinge, there is a cutting tool for you as well. So all you gotta do is hold it in there, able to cut the wire just as you need it. Uh, it's able to do anywhere from uh, a, I believe it's up to a 10 gauge wire right around there. Anything bigger than that, it's gonna be you know pretty harsh. You know, I'd stick around the, the 12 to 20 gauge is, is pretty simple for this set of pliers. It's auto adjusting. So if you put something bigger in here, it automatically sets for that size. The tension you're able to go down until it hits something that it stops at, in which time it will strip the wire back for you. Uh, these are a pretty good buy for you. I would definitely recommend for you guys to have these. The Blue Point set runs right at $42.75 through Snap-on. Uh, if you wanted to pick these up on Amazon, they are just a little bit cheaper at like $37.50. So another great tool to have in your arsenal to be able to, to use for those nice wire stripping jobs, able to get into the, all the tight places that you need it in. Last but certainly not least on our Nifty Tools segment, we come to our Astro Pneumatic Brake Tool Set. The part number on this one is going to be 78619. It is actually two kits in one. It is an 18-piece brake caliper windback set for the crank-in style brake calipers, as well as an eight-piece professional brake tool set as well. This kit is available on Amazon through Astro Pneumatic. It's got all of your standard uh, uses for your one pin, two pin, and a couple of the three pin, very oddball ones for like Volkswagens uh, to be able to wind back in their calipers. It makes it kind of a pain in the butt on those, especially in the tight places, but this one makes it easy with the separatable backing plate to it. You're able to get that into where you need, put the tool in, and be able to twist lock it into place. The cool thing it also does have, it has the standard straight threads and it also has the reverse thread style as well. The reverse threads you're going to be using on some of the uh, Euro cars, Lexus and stuff, they use that reverse thread. The Toyotas, they use it as well. Everything from the uh, little one inch dual spacer up to about a two and a half inch uh, cup for their uh, spaced out uh, brake calipers. Then up here in the top in the eight piece set, are your other brake tools for doing the drum brakes. You've got your spring uh, retainers. You've got your spring stretch wires and plugs there. An extra tool for helping to spread and pull apart the springs. Uh, really, it's a nice tool. They are nice and steel. The uh, handles on the Astro tools up here, they are a hard plastic. They seem to be a pretty decent tool. and. Uh, they've come in handy quite a few different times. The case is nice, nice blow molded case, able to hold everything into place. Only one thing fell out, eh, there it goes. But nice case for you. Now this one is a extremely good buy for you guys. If you guys get this one at Amazon, it's gonna run you right at $64.50. Now if you can compare this to like a Snap-on or a Mac or a Matco set of the standard and the reverse thread style press-in caliper tools, you're talking like 200 bucks a set for those, which is kind of an insane price. So at like 65 bucks, this is this kit is a great one for you guys to have. I would definitely recommend this for you guys who are starting out in your career, is gonna be doing brake jobs. This thing is gonna help you out in many different ways. You definitely need to get you one of these. Now finally, as a last part of this segment, we always do a nice shout out to a couple of those channels that are the diamonds in the rough. Some of the ones that are small and upcoming through the ranks of the tool and automotive fields. Uh, some of the ones that have really pointed out to me, we've got two of them for you guys this week. First one is gonna be 
The Practical Mechanic. The Practical Mechanic has a really good channel. He has really great production value and he does great tests on scan tools, shop equipment, and he's also doing some really cool builds, including an old Biscayan where he's swapping out a newer LS motor, doing wiring harnesses, putting in different fuel pumps. Uh, it's a really cool process to see some of the upfits that he does. I, I'm a big fan of his and I hope he keeps up his channel. Make sure you guys go and check him out as well. And of course, the one that I really wanted to get a shout out to was Mr. Captain Ron. He's my right hand man. He's behind the scenes all the time, helping set up live streams, doing some of the technical uh, little equipment things here and there. And he's also started his own channel. I know I've shouted him out before, but for you guys who have not been over there, he is a newer cap student. He is a technician in training here at the dealership, learning under myself and a couple of the other technicians. Right now he's in school. He'll be doing some really cool videos on the school and the process that they go through, maybe talking to some of the instructors. His channel is more geared towards the newer technician, what you're gonna be learning when you come into the field, the kind of tools that you guys need and the kind of tools that you'll use in the day-to-day -day life. You know, me, when you get the information from me, I've been doing this for, you know, 11 years now and I've got more of experience to it and I look at it just from a different perspective. Him, he's newer into the field and it's kind of cool just to get his perspective on seeing where he's coming up from. It's a really cool thing to check out and we really want to get him up to a thousand subscribers. So go check out Mr. Captain Ron today. Well guys, that's about all I've got for you today. I appreciate you guys stopping into the channel. I'm really enjoying these nifty tool reviews and I'm hoping that you guys are as well. We're gonna be getting back to doing some more Duramax content this coming weekend. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. Lots of cool, exciting new things coming. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. And if you guys like this content, make sure you guys put a comment down below, say, yes, I do like it or Leave me some ideas of some tools that you would like to see reviewed because I've got lots more and I like doing the reviews for you guys. I appreciate it. Thanks again, guys. And as always, you guys stay awesome.